Hello everyone, and welcome to this bonus video of Treasured. In the last video I explained the pressure plate, but I never really got to explain how it all worked. Uh, I glossed over it and I just said, don't bother about the finalization. So in this video I will explain uh, how the pressure plate works and how all of the other systems work as well, as you can see. The button also works. And as does the pressure plane. <laughs> Alright. Let me show you. Actually, instead of showing you how it is actually set up currently, I will strip all of the scripts and I will build it with you guys. I guess that is the best way of explaining how all of this works. Alright, so as you can see here, there I have the pressure plate, but there currently is nothing to... There, there, there is just nothing that will make it work. So, how do I go about creating a pressure plate? Well, let's just add the component pressure plate. As you can see, there is some uh, trigger things with on hold start. Um, I currently don't really have to bother with this because there is a lot of stuff already present in pressure plate and uh, all of the other stuff that I will show you. One of the other things I need to add is a box collider. This is basically the little area where uh, the pressure plate is. So, for example, if I change it all the way to be here, then this area will trigger the pressure plate, which is not really what we want. So let me put it... Oops. Let's put it right here. There we go. So that is the area that affects the pressure plate. So, of course, there is one thing that I want to uh, have, is that when the player walks onto the pressure plate, that the little plate goes down. There we go. So, by supplying this uh, pressure plate area with the right um, variables, the pressure plate will now actually push down. Great, but what does it actually do? Currently it does nothing because we haven't specified any features for it. What are features? Well, features are things that can be toggled on and off, for example, or that can just be toggled once. So the fire in this brazier, for example, it can be toggled based on this toggle particle system script. If we open up the toggle particle system script, here it is, we can see that it is a toggle feature and that the feature can be toggled as seen by this toggle method. And basically what it does when B is true, so when we say that it's on, then the particle system plays, otherwise you will stop the particle system. I guess that is <laughs> very simple. So when we have attached it to a particle system, we can then drop it into the feature list. Oh, that is a button, that is not what I want. Here it is. Uh, fire. So, that means that when we walk into the pressure plate, the fire particle system will start to play. But, as you can see, it currently looks like the brazier is already lit up, and that is because of this light. As you can see, the light has a light flicker script, which basically makes it appear so that the light is flickering. So it isn't a constant value, it is just 
changing randomly between a set uh, of values, in this case 2 and 3. Also, the light flicker is a toggle feature, which has a toggle. So for people who are interested in, in the code, I guess, here you go. <laughs> Oh, wow. Well, I guess that is kind of the rubber duck <laughs> phenomena. This piece of code isn't even needed. <laughs> As you explain the code, you <laughs> find new things, new bugs, new code that isn't used. <laughs> Great. All right, so it's a toggle feature. It has a toggle, which calls the enable uh, function which will make sure that it is lit up. So, okay, now it needs to compile. <laughs> Great. Then we have the pressure plate. As you can see here with features, we have the fire uh, particle system, and we can also drop the light in there. So now when we would enter this area or step on the pressure plate, <laughs> the fire particle system would turn on and the light flicker would change intensity. So it would go from zero to one. Turn on, basically. Let's see if that works. Before we do that, I remember <laughs> that I need to put on the is trigger in the box collider. Rookie mistake, oh God. All right, so as you can see, it turned on, but it didn't turn off. <laughs> Why is that? Well, there is a little setting here, the toggle setting, which can either be toggle, so it would turn on and then it would just stay on, or you can put it on hold. Yeah, great name, I know. And hold would basically be uh, when you step on it, it would be on, and then when you get off, it will turn off. Let's have a look at that in action. It turns on and now it turns off. And as you can see with the pressure plate, as we stand on the plate, it goes into the ground. It's just a little detail and it's currently in code. Maybe it will be an animation later on, um, but that will happen uh, after all of the features are implemented. Okay, so in the code, um, we have seen that the pressure plate is a trigger area. A trigger area is basically the little box uh, collider, which I can actually make sure that it always has a box collider by typing this, which I should have done before. Okay, now we can let it compile. Great. And the trigger area has a on trigger enter, which basically when you enter the trigger zone, it will run a piece of code. And it also has an exit trigger, the opposite basically. And this will make sure that uh, all of the code is run properly. The trigger area is a trigger, as you can see. And this is the trigger. The trigger has unity events, which are basically, um, well, how, how, how can I phrase that? They're basically um, functions or methods, but then you can add methods to it. Basically, it's a listener, so you can add listeners to it. And when you invoke it, it will call all of the method that you have added based on this add listener function. So there is a hold start and hold end, which will basically be triggered if the toggle setting is put on hold. <laughs> is put on hold, great. The on toggle setting, if it is hold, then when you enter a trigger zone or when you 
push a button and you hold it, then first it will do the start function. And then after you let go or you exit the area, the on hold end will be called. And of course, if it's a one time toggle, there is an on toggle function. And that will basically make sure that things are called properly. And then there is this toggle feature, which as I said, the light flicker and the particle system is part of. Uh, there is an array, which is basically a list, but different because there's also a list. <laughs> we'll not get, yeah, okay. I will not go into detail uh, on that part, but there is a list of features. And in here, in the first call, the awake method, the uh, the whole feature thing is added to the listener of the uh, Unity event. Mm, yeah, <laughs> if you have questions on that, uh, be sure to uh, yeah go into the Discord server, just ask, and I will hopefully provide all of the information that I can. Um, <laughs> who knows? Uh, yeah, there are some functions that will draw lines. Yeah, that's that's all good. Uh, so we have the pressure plate. I can also quickly show the button. Because I also have implemented the button now. Which either can also be held or is a toggle. It's basically the same as the area, but instead of the player entering a zone, the... Uh, the player needs to press a button for it to trigger, which is a trigger interaction instead of a trigger area. So that's why the both the buttons and the pressure plate work. So again, we have the pressure plate and it turns off. Same with the button. So we look at it. Currently there is no way to tell that you're can interact with it, but we'll, <laughs> uh, I'll, I'll, I'll get to that later. So as you can see, we can press the button, the torch above it will light up, we can let go. There we go. And of course, with both the pressure plate, we can put it on a toggle, we can also put the button on a toggle, and this will, sh uh, as you can see, this will make sure that when we walk into the pressure plate, it will stay on, basically. Same with the button. So I can press it, and now it will stay on. So that is a very easy way for me to make buttons and pressure plates. Um, I haven't put, like the, the lever here isn't working currently. There, I could add a the very simple button script, but uh, yeah, I, I still need to make that. So I guess that is it for the pressure plate and the button. Um, again, if you have any questions on all of the things that I have shown, uh, be sure to ask. Uh, <laughs> I will help where I can. If questions are too low level, I'm not sure I can answer those, but I guess I can try. Um, yeah, so that is the end of this little bonus video. <laughs> if you uh, liked it, um, be sure to subscribe and all that good stuff for <laughs> YouTube stuff. Yay. Uh, yeah. I guess I will see you in the next video. Bye.